Someone. Anyone. Your Majesty? Please. Somebody! Wait. Did it, Hendrik? You saved us all. Out of my way, let me through. Let me look at you in the daylight at last. Oh, yes, my handsome little soldier. My hero, just look at you! <laughs> oh. You set aside your differences with Hendrik, with me, and fought to bring back the light. We are forever in your debt. The world is still in a desperate state. But now we have something. We have hope. We have the luminary. May you banish the darkness once and for all. Hendrik, my ever faithful knight, today's victory is as much yours as anyone's. Your strength too will be needed in the struggle to free the world from evil. You know what you must do. The people of the last bastion will learn to make do without you, as I hope will I. So please, do not hesitate. Do what you know you must. Honored Luminary, I serve you now. Though it cost me my life, I will stand beside you until the darkness is no more. Victory in the fight against the darkness is ours!
I trust that you slept well? Or did the people perhaps not permit you the luxury of rest, eh? <laughs> or even better, there is no surer sign of a kingdom at peace than a high-spirited populace. Now, to more serious matters. The shield of Heliodor, the sire. You are like a son to me. And it is a father's duty to prepare his offspring for the dangers that await them. You will have need of it, I am sure. You wear it well. The shield has always been the mark of our mightiest knights. There can be none mightier than the Luminary's own guardian. You have no complaints, I trust. No, my liege. I understand that you had hoped for the World Tree to guide you on your quest. Alas, it is no more. But all hope is not lost. Your father once told me that Idrisil was not the only sacred place in Adria. He spoke of another. A holy mountain in the south known as Pang Lai. The fate of those who dwell there is deeply intertwined with that of the Luminary, or so he said. It may be mere hearsay, a conversation half remembered, but if it is true, you may yet find help in your quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows. Venture west through the Mangle Grove, and you will find a valley that leads to the cost of Alor. Pass through the checkpoint beyond it, and you will soon find Mount Pang Lai. It is not a road I have traveled myself. Be prepared, and may your journey be a safe one.
temple on top of a mountain. What connection could a place like this have to the luminary? It certainly benefits from divine protection of some kind. Yggdrasil fell to earth not far from here, yet the temple buildings escaped entirely unscathed. I know that face. That man is a knight of Heliodor. <laughs> Heliodorian swine! You think that your blockade will break us? Think again. The disciples of Angrilla are made of sterner stuff, as you will soon see. What in the... These movements must be intended to confound us. Be on your guard. They may attack from any angle. Enough, all of you. Is this how we treat visitors? As your High Lama, I order you to stand down. Your Holiness, these people are not visitors. They are soldiers of Heliodor. We cannot be sure of their intentions. Soldiers of Heliodor, you say? The tall one, perhaps. But his young friend does not look like a military man to me. I sense a great power within you. Tell me, young man, are you the luminary? Incredible. He divined your true identity with a single glance. How long we have waited for this day. Please, you must forgive my disciples' discourtesy. Their training is... incomplete. Welcome to Angrila. Honored Luminary, it would please me if you would join me in the High Hall at the top of the temple. We have much to discuss. A strange child, but remarkably perceptive for one so young. There is more to him than meets the eye, that much is certain. Well, we have come this far. We might as well make our way to this High Hall of theirs, see what he has to say. I believe you know it is my privilege to serve as High Lama of this most sacred temple. I am to address you as Your Holiness, correct? Why everything, of course. We have awaited his coming ever since the day he entered this world, in the castle of Dundrasil. Waiting for him? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I say, nothing more. Tell me. Do you recognize the symbol on this banner? It is the emblem of Dundrasil. Since the age of heroes, the princes of that nation have come here to train with us for six years of their youth. Your young friend was born a prince of Dundrasil. Thus did we expect him to come here as a boy and study under the great Grand Master Pang. Sadly, that was not to be. So if fate had been kinder, you would have spent a good part of your childhood here. What of his tutor, this Grand Master Pang you speak of? When the Lord of Shadows brought the World Tree low, the Master set out to summon a magical mandala to protect the temple from destruction. The spell succeeded, but its power was too great. Grandmaster Pang did not return. 
Noble sacrifice, indeed. Now that the Master is gone, it falls to me to guide you. Come to the Field of Discipline. It lies behind this hall. There is something you must see. It is a shame that the Grand Master cannot be here. I would have liked to meet one so noble. Come, let us see what His Holiness has in store. Beyond those doors lies the field of discipline, where students of Anguilla strive for enlightenment. Before we tread upon this hallowed ground, let me tell you a little of our history. And a before setting out to defeat the Dark One, Erdwin came to our temple to learn from the Wise Ones, who made their homes here even then. The first Grand Master, Ayi, accepted him as a disciple and trained him in the secrets of spiritual realization. But he did not train alone. During his time here, he met someone. Someone who would change his fate forever. Who was this person? Another of Ai Yi's disciples. A young mage whose talent outshone that of all who had come before. A man named Morkant. Erdwin and Morkant would train together every day each striving to outstrip the other. Though they were fierce rivals, they became firm friends. When their training was complete, Morkant joined with Erdwin in his quest to slay the Dark One. But before setting out, they carved an inscription into this stone, a pledge of eternal friendship. It has been a treasure of ours ever since. Morkant. I have not heard the name before. Now, allow me to show you to the field of discipline, if you would be so good as to follow me. <laughs> Welcome to the field of discipline. Since the age of heroes, many a would-be warrior has spilt sweat and blood upon these flagstones. If your karma had been different, this is where you would have trained under Grand Master Pang, like all the princes of Dundrasil before you. I have brought you here so that you might stand in the footsteps of your ancestors, an unbroken line leading all the way back to the age of heroes. Even your grandfather, Lord Robert, completed his training here. The memory of his achievements shall live long in the temple's memory. His achievements? <laughs> Pang was a harsh master. With this implement, disciples whose efforts were lacking were given motivation. Directly to their fundament. It became known as... The Naughty Stick! During the course of his six years of tuition, the grandfather's right honorable posterior was paddled an unprecedented 10,000 times. The tale of Lord Robert's road to enlightenment lives on to this day. Ev A legendary achievement indeed. You are worried for your grandfather, yes? Do not be. Lord Robert overcame every challenge set for him by the Grand Master and emerged stronger every time. The fall of the World Tree would not have been enough to extinguish one so resilient. He is alive. I sense it. Tonight there will be a modest feast in the High Hall to celebrate your long-awaited arrival. We would be greatly honored if you would join us. We may not be able to aid you as we would have done were Master Pang still with us, but in this respect at least, we can provide.
awake at last, hmm? It is high time we were on our way. If the Grand Master were still alive, perhaps we might have learned something to help us in our fight against the Lord of Shadows. Sadly, it was not to be. The monsters on the mountain path were too strong. We were unable to reach him. I see. Your Holiness, is there a problem? Yes, Sir Hendrik. I fear there is. You see, two weeks ago a hermit visited us unannounced, then just as suddenly departed for the top of the mountain. Hello? Whatever for? That I do not know. The moment he heard that Master Pang had passed away, he ran from the temple. He was last seen climbing the path to the summit. The mountain has become infested with monsters, emboldened and strengthened by the rise of the Lord of Shadows. It is a perilous place indeed. Being so, I dispatched a group of disciples to return him to safety. As you can see, things did not go quite as planned. I have trained all my life for a moment such as this, and yet I have failed in my first true test. I have brought shame upon Angrila. Might we be able to offer some assistance? I thank you for your kindness, but you are guests here. I cannot ask you to undertake such a dangerous task. A knight of Heliodor does not abandon an innocent in need. These people have shown us great kindness. It is only right that we do them a kindness in return. Would you not agree? Thank you from the bottom of my heart, but I cannot allow you to bear this burden alone. I shall come with you. We must depart for the summit of Mount Pang Lai without delay. After exiting the temple, we will take the path to the east in order to begin our ascent.
seems we are too late. Is this the hermit we came in search of? Unfortunately so. He was in deep meditation when he breathed his last. I am glad at least that he was prepared to meet his fate. But that posture, it is awful. Uniquely awful. I know it from somewhere. Incredible! Issue one of the Ogler's Digest. And in mint condition. <gasps> ah, indeed. It seems our friend here made his peace with the world before departing. This, at least, is some small solace. <clears throat> But this... This is one of the royal treasures of Dundrasil. Why would a lowly hermit have such a... <gasps> the skies! Can it really be... Lord Robert! Your grandfather was Master Pang's most fervent disciple. Can he have chosen to follow his mentor to the next life, perhaps? No! He is still breathing! What? His spirit hovers in the place between life and death. It is only a matter of time before he passes the point of no return. But there may yet be a way to save him. If you were to follow him into the void, you might be able to bring him back. But how? Is this even possible? The ancient teachings tell us that the summit of Mount Pang Lai stands at the crossroads between this world and the next. If you will permit me, I can perform an ancient rite that will send you to the place between worlds. But it is not a decision to be taken lightly. Once that place is entered, there is no guarantee of return. Well, will you take that chance? Will you visit the Void and bring Lord Robert back to us? Hmm. Very well. I will prepare for the ritual. Tell me when you are ready, and we will begin. <laughs> 